Hi, this is Alexia Totis from TechCrunch TV, and this is our wrap-up of the five, five out of 500, uh, five most interesting startups at uh, 500 Startups Demo Day. And I'm sitting here with Punch, who didn't make the list. And the reason they didn't make the list is very interesting. It's because none of them could think of one reason why they were interesting when I asked them, <laughs> why are you interesting? <laughs> I first asked you, and you're like, oh, I don't know. Then I asked you, and you're like, let me get my biz dev guy. <laughs> and the biz dev guy I didn't know. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about what you do and how you guys got here? Because I actually think it's interesting after talking to you for 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, sure. We take buy 10, get one free cards, and we put them on your smartphone, which I guess in and of itself isn't that interesting. But the way we pitch it is interesting. Uh, people have, have, have really responded to Punch as a hyper-local, real-time deals platform in your pants. And that is interesting, right? Well, because it's actually in your pants. Like, it's, it is, we want stuff, as humans, uh, <laughs> we want stuff in our pants, uh, yeah. especially uh, since the iPhone and Android in your pants platforms uh -huh. have proliferated. Pro oh, huge. Anything in your pants is just, this is totally the year of in your Color pants. in your pants, man. $40 million. I just colored in my pants. You just oh. colored in your pants. Ooh. Now that's good. Color one. in my pants. But, um, so you guys shopped around, right? Why did you choose 500 startups? Because you're, you're obviously crazy, and McClure is also obviously Yeah. Um, we like how crazy McClure is. We... We didn't get into Y Combinator. We got into AngelPad, but they had a competing, competing products. They wanted us to pivot, and we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to leave our users stranded. So uh, we came up to 500 startups, and I introduced myself to Dave. Xander introduced himself to Dave, and Niket iced him. So. Uh, what do you mean by iced? <laughs> so the morning of our interview, we, th we thought that we had no chance with Dave McClure. We're a couple of really young guys, um, totally new to the scene. And we had read about Dave McClure that he was kind of an asshole. And so in the morning, we had joked about it the night before, but in the morning we stopped at a liquor store and we bought a six pack of Smirnoff ice. Uh, and like Reed said, he introduced himself to McClure. We saw, we saw McClure sitting at his table writing an email. Uh, Reed introduced himself to McClure and Niquette, I introduced myself to McClure and then Niquette comes with the Smirnoff ice from behind and says, Dave McClure, you've been iced. Slams down the table. Dave McClure luckily <laughs> bursts out laughing. We thought, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if he'd get it. Luckily he did. Um, he loved it. He, to he totally got it. I think gave him a good idea of, of, of our character and uh, what kind of team we were going to be. Um, the, ice, the Smirnoff ice is actually still in the fridge. <laughs> Dave's kind of a pansy and didn't <laughs> want to drink it. We but. found this. This was there like two and a half months ago, and we, it's, it's still in the fridge in the bottom shelf hiding. Although, to be honest, we put the rest of the six pack in the fridge, and people have, have consumed those, not even being iced. We've seen, like, <laughs> Waleed from Nineveh, he was like, one day just walking around, we're all drinking <laughs> beer, and he's sitting there <laughs> selling an ice. We're like, Waleed, what the hell's the deal, man? But hey. <gasps> That's a great test for the people who eat the stuff out of the fridge, it's not theirs. Like, if, if, so, if someone's eating stuff out of the fridge, it's not theirs, I bet you it's Waleed. Oh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> point. He's here a lot. Yeah, he's here till midnight, so I'm sure he does that stuff. And, um, I mean, we were blown away by the space, too. We kind of walked in. I don't know if you have any shots of, like, the space, but... I don't know if you've looked out the window. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> and, uh, I know. I feel so dumb saying, oh, my God, it's so nice outside. Oh my, like, I've said it about 20 times. <laughs> you don't want to, like, stereo tweet, but you're like, damn, it's really nice it's really nice. Yeah. Better than Google S... You know the Google SF view? Mm -mm. It's over no. the Golden Gate Bridge. You guys should come. Sure, yeah, you know anyone at Google SF? We'd love to go. I know quite a few people. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alexis gets around at so, Google SF. <laughs> oh. Alexia. Alexia. I was trying to like tell someone else it wasn't you, but all right. <laughs> all right, so seriously now, ice, ices and in your pants aside, your mobile platform for loyalty cards is serious business, right? Like, do you, do, Does anyone know how big your market is? Is, is this guy? How many small businesses are in there in the country? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, a lot of people are, like, talking about larger companies looking at chains and stuff, but in general, um, the small business markets, like, you can't even really quantify because no one's actually been able to crack it as well. I mean, Groupon and stuff like that's been doing it. But we think it's neat because we um, fundamentally want to get rid of these cards, 
and that in itself is used a lot by a lot of Americans, and we're just kind of like... Yeah, 70, 75% of Americans have one of these cards in their wallets. So, you know, in the next few years, everyone will have a smartphone, and then there's like 220 million Americans that will use our service right there. So, so do you consolidate all of the cards into one app, or...? So we don't consolidate other people's cards. We have our own cards. So punch, you just have the punched app, and then you get cards at the various businesses you go to. So we have to sign businesses up, which is the tough part of our job. What, well, what businesses do you, I mean, I would go, I would try. We should talk to Sarinoff and off? see if we can get into some of their <laughs> venues. Yeah. Um, we got, we have a Jam, we have a few Jamba Juices, um, Pete's, Pete's Coffee, Carl's Jr., uh, what else, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah, combination, sorry. Um, also, we kind of like look at um, small shops, mom and pop shops, you know, if you think about like all these awesome apps that like Starbucks and stuff has, there's pretty much nothing for the rest of like, you know, if you start your own small business. So we'd like to give them some digital presence that they couldn't have because it costs so much. And we've been working hard at uh, getting on universities where it's, um, you know, a bunch of kids that can't cook. They have plenty of money because their parents, you know, pay for their college and they go out to all their favorite shops. I'm sure you guys probably remember all your favorite shops in college. Maybe. Maybe. The, the, the bookstore. The bookstore. The bookstore. <laughs> uh, we're actually... I was fond of the bookstore. We were actually in the bookstore on the Cal Poly campus. Yeah, that's right. So you had to buy little chocolates, though. It's not that interesting. So as a consumer, I, I, I can download Punch. What's my process here? I'm downloading it, and I'm only using it at stores that support Punch. So we promote Punch really heavily in the stores that have Punched. So ideally, you go to a store and you you download punched there. So it's like if, if you saw the loyalty cards in that store, you'd use that loyalty card. We're taking that same approach. We want you to find out through that vendor that they use punched versus we're this giant, massive kind of company and you could use our service anywhere. We're taking the approach, you know, putting business business owners first. And if so, if you go to a, a punch venue, you would find out a punch there and then download it there and then, and then use it there. And then from there, you could see if there's any other businesses in the area that use it. How many punch venues do you have? Um, we have 35 venues signed up using it right now. We have another 70 or so that are on the waiting list to get it. Um, just recently, we opened a totally automated sign-up process. So suddenly, we got a, a place in Germany signed up and a couple places in Canada. And we're, we have some people on the waiting list from Australia. So um, yeah, we have 35 venues right now. We have three college campuses. Uh, we're dealing with another seven, seven college campuses. So, yeah, there's not a ton of places. There's a couple of places in San Francisco. Cafe Capriccio, Box Foods Company. Kit Padme. Um, and ALSF out in the financial district. So, just a few places. Some in LA, a bunch in San Luis Obispo where we're from. There's like 15 venues alone in there. So are you, how are you going to monetize or how are you monetizing? So businesses um, pay us for the service. Uh, the businesses around here all pay, you know, seventy to a hundred dollars a month just for the paper cards, and we provide, you know, the same loyalty service. But these are the punch cards, right? Yes, yeah, the paper really punch, cards. punch cards. Just for the the printing cost. Yeah, just the printing cost is like seventy dollars a month. That's awesome. You guys should target uh, nail salons. And, and so, um, yeah. if you're looking for a job after TechCrunch, we need a female sales girl yeah. to go to the tanning places and the nail salons and the hair salons and the massage parlors and I think massage Matt, parlors I think uh, <laughs> well maybe that's the wrong word the spas excuse me <laughs> that's the fancy word for that right spa spa yeah um, yeah Matt could probably do that yes he could <laughs> is Matt your fourth Matt Matt's uh he's our sales guy he's super charismatic tall you know all the things that we aren't does he yeah. know does he know why you're interesting why we're interesting um boy I don't know that level of yes, Matt does know why we're interesting. And I th I'm sure we all know why you're interesting now. <laughs> thank, thank you for joining me. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. For us. Thanks. Thanks for giving us a fifth chance. Yeah, seventh chance. <laughs> <laughs> we're running out here.